Hey guys, it's me, Pants06, and I do apologize for the absence of last week's episode of the Game Feed. So today, I present a new episode of the Game Feed. And today we are talking about Mad Max, and is it worth buying? And if you've seen, or if you've not seen, I just recently posted a new episode of, not really episode, but a uh, Let's Play of Mad Max, where I show about the first hour or so, I basically compressed a little bit and uh, made some uh, edits to show you what the game is pretty much like. Um, now, if you're a Mad Max fan and you like Fury Road and liked all the other movies, I'm going to go ahead and say buy this game because there's not really much in terms of Mad Max games out there. And for the quality of the game you get, it's actually really, really good. I think it's the best um, WB could have done. Uh, I believe Avalanche Studios made this, but I believe this is the best they could have done with the source material they had. Um, the game is beautiful. The gameplay is a mix between uh, a little bit of Shadows of Mordor and Batman, if you like that kind of stuff, and a little bit of Far Cry. Uh, you can definitely feel the Far Cry um, elements in it when you have to go to different bases and try to get to lands, uh, take control over certain territories, and take out different bases and stuff. You kind of feel that with it. Um, like I said, the, the story is actually pretty interesting so far. I've, I've probably put at least two or three hours. And this is not a review. This is just me, after three hours of gameplay, uh, switching back and forth between Metal Gear Solid Five, this, and Destiny the Taken King. Um, I could definitely say that... Uh, Mad Max is actually pure, actually really good. And if I had to give a any type of score right away, I'd have to say it's a must buy, um, just on the merits that you know it's it's actually really fun, and the story's fun. And if you like Mad Max like me, then it's a it's a must. Um, the mechanics, um, you have to find water and food, which is uh, it adds a little bit of elements to that, and you have to try to find parts for the Magnum Opus, which is your new supercar for the um, you know duration of the story. Uh, but I highly recommend it. I see a lot of critics panning this down because um, we're getting tired of open world games. If you've noticed, we've had a bunch of big open world games this year. We had a Witcher Three, Metal Gear Solid Five. Um, see what else um, Mad Max um, and then there's more to come and it's we're getting down to the point where you know I think a um, a more streamlined um, linear gameplay it's gonna be a breath of fresh air for most people because everything that comes out rather um, it seems to be aiming towards open world and yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm I like open world games, but um, if you looked at the last Assassin's Creed game, for instance, and you take a look at the map, there's tons and tons and tons of icons for things you you get overwhelmed and um, to the point where you just don't want to play it. I, I till this day have not finished Assassin's Creed Unity because there's too much to do. Plus, the game's broken still. Since I bought the game, it's still broken. Even with some patches, it's kind of playable. Um, I can enjoy it from time to time, but I do need to beat that game. I do need to go ahead and beat it. Um, but that leads me on to this, this topic of open world games. Um, and how you know the industry is mainly just focusing, focusing on this, which, I, I in my opinion... Um, when Metal Gear Solid 5 got announced, they said it was going to be an open world game. I was not one bit excited about that. I, you know, I played every single Metal Gear Solid game, and I never seen, you know, the need to go that direction. But now that I play Metal Gear Solid 5, I haven't beat it yet, but I've put several hours into this game. I can see why Hideo Kojima wanted to do that. Um, it's fantastic. It's fun. Um, I don't see, I don't know if they could have done Metal Gear Solid Five or no, any other way, um, but um, I, it still makes me miss, you know, all the big long cutscenes, the dialogue, um, but it's not a traditional Metal Gear game. Um, but as of right now, 
open world games is that's it's going to be here to stay for a long time. And I only see it get, getting the market's going to be completely saturated with it. Yeah, um, I, I would I would say almost every game that comes out, maybe seventy five percent of them coming out in the next maybe a couple of years is going to be open world or something like that. Um, but that's what I think uh, about the open world stuff. I, I mean, I'm not completely tired of it, but I can see the point where um, when you when that's all there is is open world games, you can get fatigued. It's almost like the Guitar Heroes and rock bands, stuff like that. You, you know, it's there's tons of them. The market's saturated with these games, and they're long. Um, you have tons of things to do, and you can't really um, bring yourself to play you know, two or three open world games at the same time because, I mean, I'm balancing myself between Metal Gear, Mad Max, and Destiny's not open world. It's it's fairly linear. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have Fallout 4 coming out. Uh, uh, see, what else? It's hard to tell. There's going to be a lot of open world games I'll be playing. Uh, the Division, uh, the Ghost Recon games, but... It's really hard to focus on one game, especially when you have so much to do. But I can already say, um, without a doubt, um, Fallout 4 will be my thing I'll be playing nonstop for probably for years, give or take. But, um, which leads me to my point here. Um, if you are not tired of open world games and you're not interested in Metal Gear Solid 5, I would definitely pick up Mad Max. It's worth the money. It's fun. Uh, even though I bought it um, when I was drunk, I didn't mean to buy it. <laughs> and I, I had my ex, my smart glass app, app open, and I was just playing with it, and I had a lot of alcohol in me, which I shouldn't have. But I drank. I purchased this game. But no regrets. No regrets at all. It's actually really good. Uh, but guys, um, sorry again for um, the lack of updates from last week. Um, I put up a few new videos. I'm going to have another Let's Talk, um, an actual thing where I talk to you guys about some health updates, which they're pretty big. Um, but I'll let you guys know about that on Thursday. Um, and I'll try to keep the schedule as regular as possible. And hopefully this weekend I'll have a new episode of The Goblin Traders. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Check out the road trip. Uh, Let's talk. I just posted yesterday, and there will be a, another Let's Play of Zombie for the Xbox One. It's actually pretty cool. Um, but be sure to check all that out. Again, be sure to like and subscribe. My name is Panto Six, and I love you guys.